Peace family, peace family. This uh this the naked truth coming at you. Um got a quick question, man, and I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one. Um but uh I'd like to give a shout out there to to my man uh Mr. Whitlock again. And I give him a shout out there to my man Kwame Brown always because I hope he start up this network, this 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 actual social network on YouTube, man, and um, kind of knock some of them other ones down. But I wanted to bring up a kind of open topic, but, you know, it, it had me just still thinking with some of, you know, with the, the, the emasculation thing and some of the things that where a man can't be a man and, you know, um, you know, some of those type of areas in which it was kind of in question. And, um... And, you know, it's always to each his own and so forth. But, um, you know, as a man, I feel like that you have a responsibility. You have a serious responsibility when it comes to the issue I'm about to talk about. And if you pretty much just lay your foundation on someone else's foot and don't go out and do your own uh, responsible things you need doing, can we now excerpt you from the categorization of this 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 manlyhood thing simply because a lot of people think they're in it, but um uh, you know I'm coming to find or you know in my opinion they they are not in it they're not in that category as as men as as I think you know most men see it as my seventy eight year old pops in there see it. You know, he don't read and write. You know what I mean? He come from an era to where uh, my pops, only time they went to school, if it was snow on the ground or if it was just inhabitable to get in the fields, period. You know, so that was once or twice, or three times a year, maybe. You know what I mean? Outside of not needing all the work. So he don't have, he can't read and write. He can't write his name. Or, you know, he can do a few letters with his name. But, you know, that's the era of man I came up from. It wasn't no, you know, they work and, you know, they won't know. You know, he's the smartest now. At the same time, this man is the one who, to where all the other family fell down. They had to come to us and live with us and get from us for the X, Y, and Z. Because Pops already had it. You know what I mean? He always had two, three freezers of food and rent paid up six months early. And, you know what I mean? Pops always was, just, you weren't going to beat him on the day. You would have to been long walking to try to beat him because Pops was so prepared. You know what I mean? We had meat houses. We had, you know, chickens. We had hogs, you know what I mean? I'm talking about 20 some hogs. I'm talking about 50 some chickens. I'm talking about I was learning how to, uh, you know, hunt fish at 9, 10, work on cars, 9, 10. I'm, I'm doing all that early. You know, I don't, I don't remember not doing it. My mom says, you know, I've been out there on cars and stuff like that. And, you know, three, four, five years old that's the type of man he was he's gonna pull you in there he's gonna show you he's gonna talk to you he's gonna tell you how to do it garden we always had a garden you know what i mean i'm, I'm never not remember that so that's the type of uh cloth i'm coming from when i'm speaking of this man stuff and he had brothers seven eight brothers i had uncles all like that i had uncles that was you know men you feel their hands it was men and their hands feel like rocks period Nothing else. Rocks, hard, grind, iron. Man, hands never touch no type of nothing soft. Don't look like the hands never touch nothing soft. Uh, never was no lotion. You know, these, is, I guess, is a type of man. They not thinking about no Kaepernick stuff, though. They on the, you know, they down here grinding. And they not, you know, some of the uh, so-called, you know, these other men and some of the things that they're worried about. These men is on the ground. They got families that put whole families up on their back. No woman didn't have to work now. I mean, they won't even no question. They was the men, man, that the women don't, they, the women didn't have to work. Women didn't even wear pants to work. You know what I mean? So these, and I'm talking about took care of the women and families for 56, 46, 36, 56, 66 years. Those type of men. I don't know if that cloth is still here no more, but that's the type of cloth that I'm kind of just shaved off the top of. And I didn't got, I didn't even get cut. Cause these these men who walk eight ten miles to work every day. So <clears throat> when I hear a man, you know, it's, you got to understand, I'm coming from a cloth. You know, uh, my uncle Big Joe, you know, will tell you limb from limb. Uh, 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm and, 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 and but the, the, a big gentle giant, but at the same time, hands the size of anybody's chest, and just, you know, you're not going to do no disrespect, or you have to understand you was in a man's presence when you was around my, you know, my pops, my uncle Johnny, my uncle Joe, my uncle, you know, Melvin, you know, my uncle Big P, you know, you have to be a man, bro. So, you know, that's where I'm coming from. That's the feet that I'm at. You know what I mean? That's that the feet in, that I'm from. So when I make these references, that's what I'm talking about. And, you know, even with those men right there, uneducated and not, and, you know, being able to understand as much as they did about some of the stuff, reading the Bible and so forth and so on. It was like, you know, are we stepping down in our masculinity when we believe and we let people talk about stories like Adam and Eve around us. I like the stories. If you want to talk about it in an actual, you know, um, in, 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 in a literary way, that's great. But, you know, are you downsizing yourself a little bit sitting here talking about uh, a, a Adam and Eve story as being the real thing and you having an intellectual cause conversation with it and you haven't either did the research or you haven't even did the, you haven't had the interest to go in on your own and take one or two years of study and take up some courses and take up some stuff and find out because this is how you're supposed to feel all mankind came about. And you're supposed to be able to stand on some, uh, the foundation of that. And if and, and if you walk around here and your foundation is oh yeah it started with Adam and Eve, then it, it and it, it makes me feel like you that's 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 a big emasculation right there. Even the seriously, you know, you know, conduct that conversation. You know what I mean? I would suggest all people who really, you know, literally think that was the way to just do, you know, not having no conversation with you about that. I felt like the due diligence hasn't been performed on 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 my side, and I'm clearly looking at you different. If I got a position for you in my thousand positions of company. It, it 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 won't be an upper management simply because you you haven't took the time to do diligence to go seek the truth that's right there. One of the main things about the man is he's a seeker of truth. He he's it's like one of the things that he have to really bond himself to. And I love how my man Whitlock he puts truth as God as like synonymous synonymous. Like truth equals God. And if you come out here with anything side of the truth that means you on the other side of god which is satanic so we're we, you you looking at a person who's talking satanic now right in your face if he really believes that but we don't even know if he really believes that or if he's just trying to perpetuate this message of that you know it started with you know uh a little adam and eve and the garden of eden and um that you got seven billion people after that. That's where his uh, that's where his uh, that's that's clearly he's just um leaning on on some what someone told him. And sometimes you can't you know you can't go against you know you can't go against that. But you know I like I said I know men that don't read the Bible and got no more sense than that. You can you can give many of them stories out there, and he gonna be like. It's probably that was that 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 means something else. <laughs> you go ask you go ask him if anybody can walk on some water, and um, he he just know he he just know that ain't that ain't that can't happen. Got the biggest belief that you want to have and all of that stuff, but that ain't happen. So I find too that, in my opinion, it seems like when people want to make sure you involved with that conversation and you were, you know, you were, you you were, you were duck down with them to talk about it like that. That's, in my opinion, uh, one of the next signs, or maybe in our culture, the first signs of emasculation. If, if that means stripping away your manhood and your thinking and your own actual, uh, in your own actual, um, 
you know, um, responsibility to come to those same, uh, to come to those same conclusions. That means if you don't lay down and going to accept someone else without going out at first, putting your own imprint and, and thumbnail on what it is and seeing if it's in fact truth. So you now can stand on it. Then yeah. Um, uh, I think you, um, you letting the world know and those who has given you that mindset that you want to, because that is really giving you someone else's mindset. We want you to live off of you not living off your mind. You didn't go out there and do none of your research. That's clear. That's clear. That's clear. You didn't go out there and, and put your mind to work. You said, look, I'm going to use this guy's thinking system. I'm going to use what he said and go with that and move on with my life. And I think that's a, I think, you know, that's it. That's being a woman. And nothing wrong with being a woman. But as you know, as some of the higher ups in, in our cultures talk about how, you know, because uh, we have to define things. I'm just personally thinking that um, that's. <clears throat> that's 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 one of the things that's you know and i guess everybody's in it a little bit and we always got to watch our steps but um that's one of the main things right there that's um let you know yeah they winning they got you they got you going so i ain't gonna make it too long let me know what y'all think you know is that uh, yeah or nay is 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 then somebody and talking with someone seriously supposed to be on the actual, you know, um, grown, you know, on, on just an adult level, talking about the Adam and Eve story like it's something, uh, you know, entertaining that story, um, uh, accepting that and or have not made your opinion. Is that some type of un and form of emasculation? You know what I mean? As through the terms I, you know, laid out because seems like it is to me if a person is not going to go out there and do their own due diligence and just let um you know someone's else mindset control how they're thinking especially with something with that 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 big but you know we got our you know some of our men out there that thinks that uh I don't have to put no actual effort in it as far as the truth about it or not. And yeah, I will engage with conversations who really think, even if I really don't, and I, but I can't say it because if I say it, then, you know, you know, I can't say what I want to say, but I'll engage with a conversation with a guy, uh, like it's true. And, um, I'm still a man. I don't think so, but, uh, I like to hear from you guys. What's up? Hit me up in the comments. The naked truth. Peace out.